Hi, this is Chris with Gotta Be Mobile again, and now we're going to go through some of the other parts of the software with Windows Phone 7 on this T Mobile HTC HD 7, uh, which, you know, the OS is basically the same no matter what carrier or which um, OEM makes it, whether it be an LG or Samsung or whatever. Um, the difference will be some of the additional things that the carrier and OEM add to the device. AT&T has some things that they're adding to theirs. T-Mobile obviously has some that they're adding to, to uh, theirs. So if you see down here, I've got two emails it tells me that there. I've got a voicemail it tells me there and it gives me a status of my 3G connection and the bars which it actually shows that I've got a pretty good signal out here which is a good thing. If you see you kind of get teased here when you slide this up you can actually see what's going on under there but you flip it on up and there we are. <clears throat> okay so first just for uh, simplicity reason I'm going to go ahead and set up my Wi-Fi connection, which I have a password. I'm going to have to pause you on there. It sees uh, my router. I'm not connected to it. I have Wi-Fi turned on, and I'm going to click on there, and it's going to ask me for my password. So we'll go ahead and just take this off the camera for just a second while I pound that out. And I'm trying to use swipe. <laughs> swipe doesn't work on Windows Phone 7. Okay, so I went ahead and clicked Done and I'm connecting to my secure network here and boom, I'm there connected and we can click on here and go back home and now what I want to show you, um, as you can see I've got any, a couple of emails here and it shows that in the live tile this live tile, the people tile, or uh, yeah, live tile, people tile that will take you to the people hub. It shows some of the people that I've got Facebook friends of and whatnot. Uh, T-Mobile, this is, tells your call history here. Click here to bring up your dialer. And uh, yeah, so I can click out of there. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, messaging, you know, if I got a text message, which we saw one from Windows Phone when I first activated there. And uh, we've got some email here. Uh, press pass and GameStop news. Yeah, you know how it goes. Junk mail, some of it. We've got Netflix here, and this is one of those T-Mobile applications I was telling you about. Uh, AT&T will have their own little things and Verizon and Sprint when they get on board with 7, if they do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click off of that one. Like I said, on Xbox Live here, it shows my my little dude here, my little avatar, and uh, I want to see one of my one of my um, accomplishments, and it's telling me I have to download this one or Xbox Live extras. So I'm going to go down here and show some screenshots of it. I'm going to click install and blah 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 you have purchased this app would you like to install it yes sure and it goes about downloading there it's going pretty quick I don't know if you can actually see that let's see here if you uh, right up underneath the price you can see the download percentage there so we'll bring that back down here and what this looks like I said in the video that I did earlier that this extras is going to give you a lot more interaction with your Xbox Live account, your friends on Xbox Live, and so forth. And I'll show you that in just a moment. We're just about done installing there. And if you're wondering what the share does, you can send information to people, and we'll just do. Xbox Live Extras, it shares the link sent from my Windows phone, and I can put who I want to send it to up there if I wanted to, but you know what? Don't want to. Not right now. So it's back, and I'm not going to check the install. I'm just going to trust that it went right. Now it's going to where it wants to go, or to where 
We're directing you to Xbox Live, Extras, Download, okay. I've already done that. So now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start it over just to make sure. Click on Xbox Live. Now, if I go to my dude and click on here. Wow, okay, it didn't finish the install. Oh, it's still installing. I'm sorry. I jumped the gun on that, but we're, we're going to stumble through here together. And my excuse I always give, I'm doing this through a viewfinder, and it's a little... Okay, now it's done. A little difficult to uh, see everything through a viewfinder, too. So, let's try that again. Bam. There we go. Now it's actually loading this up. And this is pretty cool. I want you to watch once it finally gets loaded up here. Come on. What's this white screen here? There we are. When I go over here to to um, my guy, my profile, you'll see him running into the screen here in a second. And then he waves. That's pretty cool. And up here you've got your um, messages if you have some messages on Xbox Live which you can see here I don't these are older messages sent from a few friends and whatever so here you can look at your friends uh, offline I've got Adam lean from pocket now here and he was on like a minute ago it says playing something I can bring his profile up and bam there he slides into the screen Adam lean New York bio blah 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 I can click here to message him if I'd like to. Uh, I can compare my achievements with him. And he doesn't appear to have an Xbox because he's only got like 125 achievements, which are all probably Xbox Live games on Windows Phone. And you can see all the games that we play here in my house, NCA and blah, blah, blah. He doesn't play. He has played Flowers, which is a Windows Phone game. He's played Rocket Riot, which I haven't even downloaded. Anyway, so, but yeah, you can see that now and go to his back to his profile and click back here and go back and look at my own achievements. And you can see what the latest Fable 3 achievements we've got here are. The resistance, and you can actually click on that achievement. And you see him getting all excited there. The people of bower stone or behind you ready to stand up against your brother so anyway that is the xbox live tab for the xbox live extra excuse me um obviously here's some spotlight games this is the actual hub and here's the games that you got and it shows that i've got the live downloaded here and then it's got some suggestions since i don't have any downloaded right now I uh, had flowers downloaded, but I reset the device to uh, demonstrate some of this stuff. I've got no game invites or notifications, and that's it. So, uh, what else did I want to show you here on this one? I'm going to do a whole video on the music, but we'll go to Marketplace here. And I'll show you the first thing that I don't like. And this is kind of hard to see if you're not looking at it directly like I am. It's uh, kind of a gray background with white writing. You got some featured stuff that you can download here, uh, music. So let's go to games, and so we've got Xbox Live games, the top games, and I believe Flowers should be. Let's just go to free. I know it's there. Flowers. And I showed you how to download a game or an application with the Xbox Live Extras there. But here's just a, uh, I've already purchased it. Would you like to install it again? Yes. And it's going to start your download. And wow, that is lightning fast that time. And that's it. But anyway, that is a, a quick look at the Xbox Live tile there. And like I said, I'm going to get you some more here eventually, uh, a little bit at a time. And these are the first couple of videos I put up here. But that's enough for right now, and we will come with another one here soon. Thanks for watching. This is Chris from Gotta Be Mobile.